My name's Dylan Rhymes, producer and DJ. I run UK Breaks and Tech Punk label, Lot 49. I've been the label now for seven years, producing pretty much across the board of all bass music um, since late 90s under Dylan Rhymes' name. On a basic week, I'll be working on remixes, producing new music. Um, I've got a lot of production on at the moment where I'm working with new artists and obviously running um, the sample pack business. Spend probably 65% of my day in the studio with the speakers on and uh, the rest of the time is, is, is running the businesses. New projects I'm working on at the moment is um, producing a couple of dubstep producers, which is not so much the field of production I, I've been involved in in the past. Um, I do like a lot of bass music and I am a fan of dubstep. Um, it's nice to get involved in different projects, um, just for the excitement factor. You know, it, it can get a bit stale if you're producing the same genre of music all the time. So it's good to get on board with some writers that are really kind of young and fresh ideas. Um, get them in the studio and kind of maximise the potential they've got and kind of, you know, see these projects come from just good half-baked ideas and kind of help them produce them into, you know, a good saleable product. Inspirations for me, going back to when I first started was pretty much all the electronic music that was being produced, which would have been Depeche Mode, a lot of other like kind of new beat music I was really into, coupled with all the hip hop and electro that I really liked. So most of my inspiration came from sort of like early 80s music up to late 80s music. I bought an 808 drum machine, um, had my decks built onto that set up by getting a 909 and then I was just mixing tracks over drum patterns and then I got into um, production because I was inspired by all the sort of house music that was being kind of played at the clubs coming from the States. I started producing back in the late 80s um, with a good DJ friend of mine where we actually were going into a studio and using an engineer and we didn't really know what we were doing caught the bug, um, then I literally just learned by buying one piece of equipment at a time and, and learning it. I wasn't a big manual reader, I didn't used to read the manuals, I just used to get on something and, and practice and use it until I knew how to use it. And then I would buy another piece of equipment, another keyboard, learn how to program it and then learn that way. And obviously back in the late 80s, every item in the studio had a separate job so you know you needed to learn everything it's not like now where you can get one bit of software that does everything you, know, you, knew, you needed to know how to program a drum machine program a synth use the you know sequencer you know everything had to be learned from scratch so and that gave me a good grounding at the moment my favorite software instrument would have to be either massive or silent the only analog kit i really use now is the um, Universal Audio Mic Free, so that's my favourite. Um, it's not really an instrument, but it is a tool to use for production, and that's my favourite um, bit of outboard gear. I'm really into drum programming, so drums is kind of like where I kind of base the whole production around. So if there's any kind of, I wouldn't say it was a hidden meaning, but I suppose if there's any sort of grounding for everything I do, it's all about the drums. The best advice I give out, which is the best advice that I've been given, is always produce and create from from the heart, you know, from what you believe, you know, to be good. I mean, it sounds a bit cliche and a bit, a bit rubbish, but it's true, it is true. If you enjoy it, if it's from inside and, you know, and, and you, you're enjoying yourself and you like it and you're loving it, it does transpire through the music. There's nothing you can't do on a laptop these days. You know, you could run your whole music business on a laptop. It doesn't say that because you've got a laptop, that it's going to be good quality, so that's what you need to concentrate on. You know, any new producers, you know, it has to be a good product. It has to be something someone wants to hear, because then you're just basically spamming them with rubbish. The easiest software um, to get going with and to start out with would be Ableton Live. Um, I mean, I, I do use it. I use it quite a lot. I also use Logic, but obviously that's a little bit more intense than Ableton. But I mean, you know, if you've got a laptop, get Ableton and that'll get you going. It's, it's a very slow process these days. It's, it's like, you know, building fans, you know, years ago we'd be producing records, we'd distribute the records, records would get in the record shops and, you know, there was, your promo was pretty much having your record on, on the shelf and on the, on the wall in the record shop. Um, now it's like you've got a bigger audience potential with the internet, 
but it's very hard to reach that massive um, audience. Concentrate on the production. Make sure your stuff is the best it can sound before it goes out there, because then you're not doing yourself any justice.